When a new school opened in 2005, there were 520 students enrolled. Write an equation for n, representing the number of students attending the school t years after 2005, assuming the population first increased by 32 students per year. Because we have a constant rate of change, we will have a linear equation. We'll write the equations in sloped-intercept form, and we'll use the form y equals b plus mx, where b is the vertical intercept, but it's also the initial or starting value, or the value of y when x is zero, and m is the slope, which is also the constant rate of change. So for all of our equations, because the student population started at 520 students, b will always be 520. And for this first row, we're told the number of students increased by 32 students per year, which means the constant rate of change, or m, is 32 students per one year. Living off the units, we have a slope of positive 32, again, because the student population is increasing by 32 students per year, which gives us the equation n equals the starting population of 520 plus 32 times t, where again, t is the number of years after 2005. So m, the slope, is positive 32 because the population is increasing by 32 students per year. And now in the second row, we're told the student population decreased by 48 students per year, which means m, the constant rate of change, is negative 48 students per one year. Notice how we have a negative here because the population decreased by 48 students per year. Simplifying and leaving the units off, m is negative 48, and therefore n, the student population, is equal to 520. And then instead of plus negative 48t, it's more common just to write minus 48t. In the third row, the student population increased by 20 students every two years, which means m is positive 20 students per two years. We'll notice how this rate simplifies to 10 students per year, and therefore the slope is just 20 divided by two, or 10, which gives us the equation n equals 520 plus 10t. Let's take a look at three more examples. Again, for all the equations, we know b is equal to 520. And then in the first row here, the population decreased by 28 students every four years, which means m is equal to negative 28 students per four years, which simplifies to negative seven students per one year and therefore the slope simplifies to negative 28 divided by four, which is negative seven, giving us the equation n equals 520 minus 7t. The next row, we're told the student population remained constant or did not change, and therefore the student population stays at 520, giving us the equation n equals 520. And on the last row, we're told the student population increased by 10 students every semester, which means twice a year, since there are two semesters in a year. So one way to state this rate of change would be 10 students per half a year, again, because there are two semesters in one year. And now to simplify this rate, we can multiply the numerator and denominator by two. Well, 10 times two, of course, is 20, giving us 20 students per one half times two is one, giving us per one year. Simplifying and leaving the units off, we have the slope m of 20, which gives us n equals 520 plus 20t. I hope you found this helpful.